G'day and welcome everybody to the uh, Be Connected uh, orientation today. I'm really pleased to uh, today to introduce our uh, host, which is uh, Joanne uh, Brooks. Now, Joanne's a seasoned thought leader with over two decades of... What happened there? Did something go wrong? Yeah, my just screen just went to um, end. Hang on, I'll change, get rid of that. And this, don't you, don't you love um, technology when it's working for you? <laughs> All good. Right, yeah. We'll start that again because I know that you can actually edit that out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Welcome everybody to today's uh, Be Connected uh, orientation. Today we're, I'm here to introduce uh, Joanne uh, Brooks, who is our host today. Joanne's uh, background is as a seasoned thought leader with over two decades of entrepreneurial expertise, having owned and managed 16 com companies over 10 diverse industries. Joanne is a guiding force for business owners, Spe specific, Try again. I've got the wrong teeth in today. When I was married, I used to be able to say I got the wife's teeth in, but today I can't say that. <laughs> I, Joanne special uh, specialising in business education. Her work, what she works passionately for female leaders, instilling confidence and empowering them to make a positive impact. With over a thousand webinars and on and podcasts of over uh, three years. Joanne has reached over 10,000 business owners offering online programs and mentorship. I've spoken to Joanne quite a bit about how to set my platform up and I've, she's a guiding light on how to do use this system on setting up Canva and setting up your uh, and engaging uh, clients and keeping them active in the webinars. So uh, Joanne, thank you for today for uh, stepping up to do the uh, presentation. It's over to you, welcome to the stage. Well, thank you so very much. That's awesome. Thank you, Alan. It's always lovely to have you in these rooms. Um, this is, oh, I think we're up to the fifth or sixth tutorial in a series of tutorials. So let's just quickly recap what I've covered so far. Setting up your profile, setting up your Be Virtual room, setting up your virtual screens. Um, today, we're going to talk about these amazing, oh, I've got my fingers around the wrong way. I'm only human. <laughs> I always do that, Alan. <laughs> Setting up these amazing buttons that we have available to us, even as a free user. So I'm going to show you how to do those and what makes a great button. It's literally a call to action. So I want to just share really quickly why I use Be Connected. I think it's a really good framework as to why I'm so passionate and why I know Alan is passionate about this. This framework, this social business networking platform of Be Connected, I joined it in the middle of last year, thereabouts. Alan's been using it for a number of years. But what I know is this is a, a, a collection of all different functionality that every other business owner out there is paying multiple subscriptions for, not always satisfied with them, not always happy that those platforms control what your audience sees, how it sees them, when it sees them, and mm, none of them pay you an affiliate fee. Now, that's a whole different conversation. But for me, it's a it's a critical foundation piece to me in business. And I'm really pleased and delighted that I've been, um, have the ability to share what I know about this platform. Alan's a, a coach just like myself. So I'm going to spend no more than 20 minutes to show you how to set up because I'm going to do both fingers because then I know I'm going to hit a 50-50 chance I'm going to hit one of them, get it right, <laughs> get the buttons right because I am human, my left and right, I know them, but when it's mirrored, it just, yeah, it's a little bit, it's my brain. Well, when you go left, I'll just tell you your other left. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> so we're going to empower hosts. So this is about empowering you as a host of a virtual meeting webinar event whatever you want to call it. So that's what we're going to be talking about. So you are absolutely in the right place. If you're a user and you don't know how to set up your buttons, you don't know how many you can have, you don't know how to make yourself stand out in the Be Connected community, or you've got them, but you're not sure that they're great. Now, I will say to you, and I know Alan's the same, he has seen many iterations of my buttons 
over the time I've been using Be Connected because that's the awesome flexibility about it. You can change them at the drop of a hat. And literally 10 minutes ago, oh, yeah, I got it. Um, 10 minutes ago, I changed the middle one because that is your template to my template in Canva to create these. So for those of you who are live, those of you who are watching this as a recording, you can click on that button at any time and you are most welcome to use those templates to set up awesome buttons on the side because you can change them at any time. So what can you expect out of this? I'm going to show you how to set them up, maximize engagement, I'm going to give you my tools. Well, you've already got it. I've stepped it up and I've given it to you even before we finish the, the tutorial. And you can pick my brains and you can also pick my brains outside of this part in the from the recording should you like to. So I have a question. Does your room look like this? How many of them look like that, Alan? So many. A hell of a lot. Far too sadly, many, actually. Sadly, so many. And that's why the bee is crying. It's very sad. It's not engaging. It's not interesting. And it actually looks like you can't be bothered. This is probably a harsh comment to say. But if you're using this platform, even a free user, why aren't you making great use of the capability of this platform? So this is what maybe a great set, um, setup looks like. So the bee is very happy. So this is um, uh, something I set up for Cheryl Gray from the Women's Network Association. It's branded, you know, from the previous tutorials I've done over the last couple of weeks, you can see I've put the colors in the background, but you can also see there's some buttons here. So picture this, Cheryl's in a meeting. She's talking to prospective um, uh, members of her association. Absolutely, she wants a button to say, join Women's Network Australia. Absolutely, she wants them to use the Be Connected platform. So she's encouraging people and there's a button there to click. And very kindly, she's promoting these tutorials to her audience because Cheryl has decided that every one of her members of Women's Network Australia must be on Be Connected. So she's making it easy for them. So I want you to visualise what this does for you as a business owner, as a even if you're a leader in, your, in a business for whom you work. What could it do to step up your engagement with your audience, whether it's in a sales perspective, whether it's in a relationship building perspective and building connections with the people that you're in the meeting with or the virtual or the webinar, what, what the event, whatever you want to call it. If you don't take the trouble to, to complete this, you're wasting everybody's time. And, and I'm just going to put it out there, right? This is here for a reason. You've signed up for a really good reason. Um, I'm happy to help. I've done a lot of work for you in creating the templates. So let's have a look at some examples that I think make a great buttons. So if you're a free user, you get the first two ones, which are one top left-hand corner. So, you know, global leaders, there's one, join me, join me. You can make them all different. So there's all different branding sitting here. I've got Alan's in there. I'm, I'm maybe not even a current one of Alan's because I know we all change them regularly. His is completely branded. One of my colleagues is the next one, the lovely Zara, and then we've got the Women's Network Australia there sitting there. What I want you to see is it has so much flexibility. You, you can make it anything you want, anything you want to capture the, the attention of the person you're meeting. So with that in mind, that that's, it might suggest to you that you can change them anytime, as often as you want. You can even turn off some if you only want... I just want one. That's cool. Just turn on one. You don't have to set them all up. But know that when you're into a paid subscription, you get the chance to have all three. When you're free, you get one. But even free, why wouldn't you make use of it? So what are the steps to setting this thing up? You need to know how many buttons you can create. You, you need to decide where are the buttons going to take the user. You need to think about what are your call to action words and what will they look like? Simple things that might just, you might, you might make a note on a piece of paper. You might just have a clear in your head. But let's have a look at what, um, what they actually need to, uh, the, the um, size and shape, et cetera. So currently action buttons are 700 by 500 and all the software, the Canva that I use, it makes it super simple. I really like um, using PNG with a transparent background, uh, but there are times that I don't. So you can see these ones on the example. They don't have a clear background. You can see that there's, you know, there's a little bit more detail to them. They're the ones I set up for Cheryl. So they can be PNG, which enables you to do the transparent background or your normal JPEG file. You can have 
a certain number. So free, you get one, top left-hand corner, just like I've got on the left-hand side of this screen, of this slide, or you can have three once you are a paid subscriber. And as I said, change them as often as you like. Have as many active as you like once you are paying. But on free, you at least get one. So let's make sure you leverage those. So what type of buttons, where can they go? What can they do? They can be, just think about anything that you can put a URL to, a web page, a YouTube, an audio file, a video file, a calendar, a product, anything that has a URL. The sky's the limit. Could take you to a TikTok page, could take to YouTube, could take you anywhere. The ones that I've got here, Elevate Your Networking, that's for you to register for the next tutorial next Tuesday. Simple. The one that I've got on the middle is all your Canva templates. The one at the bottom is join my group. All of them have a URL and all of you who are watching this as a recording or live, you can go ahead and click on those straight away. It won't take you from the meeting. That's really important. It will open in a new tab. So you can still keep the attention of the person who's in your meeting or your virtual event, but they're there. Look, Zoom, none of our competitors, all the competitors that the names we not, will not speak anymore. We won't use those names anymore because they're, they're dead to us. Be Connected is where we hang out. The great thing is none of those platforms enable you as a user to do this. So I am, I mentioned this a little while ago in another meeting in that I believe that you should not turn off those other social um, platforms, those virtual screening platforms, but run these two together. Go do a Zoom one if you must. Go use a Be Connected one and see the difference, the engagement, because the only way you can make a decision whether this is something that you're going to stick with and upgrade into is to have the data of this is what my experience is on the other platforms. Mm, this is the experience I'm getting on this platform. Which one do I prefer? Which one am I getting better return on investment for my time and effort and money? Time's a very important piece. So wrong again. These buttons, <laughs> I, I, I'm consistent, right, Alan? I am yeah. consistent. Absolutely consistent. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So we're going to go, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, we're going to go into the back end of the Be Connected platform, and I'm going to show you, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to show you where you go and create it. But literally, you will log into the back end of your uh, Be Connected account. You'll click on Be Virtual, and you'll land at this screen. So I'm going to share my screen very quickly just to go to my page because I have it already or something I've pre prepared previously here's my be virtual room this is mine yours will all look much the same however the buttons are down here here we go really simple you can choose your profile we're talking about a custom image here right so this is a very interesting thing you can see a different button to what's in the room that we are showing this event on I'm going to talk about that in a moment um Alan, if I forget, please remind me to mention this because it's really important. You actually get to have two different styles of buttons depending on the type of room you're in. So you can see all the ones that I've done. That's where you do it. It's pretty simple. You put a, you know, what do you want the button to say? The URL, what color you want the button, the, the button to be um, on, the, on the screen itself, and what image do you want to put in there? All fairly simple, I would think. If you want to change the color, you just click on that and you put in the relevant code. So fairly simple, not too hard. So that's that one. The other place you can do it is in the event. So this is next Tuesday's event. I thought I'd just share it. This is where I set it up. It's about um, setting up a live event, which is exactly what we're doing today. And down the bottom here are some buttons, different again, okay? So you, you, I'm hoping you're getting the sense that, oh, I can set it up for my profile, for my meetings, this is for my live events and webinars. Mm. And look at this one. I have chosen that I'm going to put just two buttons. So I simply don't put anything in it. I will be taking that out. I will take that out. And there is no image. And you hit save. Always remember to hit save. So it's actually, it's pretty neat, right? There's actually two places that you can put them. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought that that was the case? So um, shown you that, shown you this, which is in the event, just to recap, we've done that. What I'm going to um, share with you is what I think makes a great button. 
it's a clear image. You have a clear call to action. It does have a button like the buttons that I've got on the left-hand side, elevate your networking, grab your call to actions, join Joe's group, connect your URL and connect directly to the audience. That should say for the purpose of the meeting. Let me um, explain that a little bit. And I have mentioned that in previous tutorials. When I introduced Cheryl Gray to this platform, I got a bit cheeky, clever, depends on your perspective. I changed this entire room to look like Women's Network Australia. So that screen I showed you before of what a great setup looks like, that baby, I did that prior to meeting Cheryl and showing her this. How did you get that, Joanne? Well, you go to a website, you can grab a logo. It's pretty easy. It's not hard. I could grab the colours. I have a, a colour picker that told me what colour to set it up. It took me hmm, 10 minutes-ish, something like that. But what it did for me in this sales meeting was Cheryl landed into this meeting and she went, oh, my goodness. And she said, what is this? She was wowed. Um, for the not for the fact that I went to the trouble of showing her how this could look, but she could then immediately visualize. So if I come in here into the meeting with her or set up either navigate or be connected, she would then have to think that through and go, how would that look like for me? I just did it for her, right? And I experienced the exact same thing when I was talking to the Desir Global Business School, a university space that's going to come in and use this platform. And this was completely black and gold. So I didn't do that. David Dubbs did. He was an awesome man. I got David Dubbs to have a chat to, to Matt from Desir Global Business School. And again, the same reaction. Oh, my goodness, look at this. So this is what I want everybody to think about who are watching this recording. Think about the purpose of why you're in this meeting and should you change any of the call to action buttons? Should you do that? So let's go and have a little explore. I have set up, I realized I was sharing, sharing, um, <laughs> fair off, but that's okay. I'm going to show you this template that um, I know can see, Alan, thank you very much. You've popped it in the um, yeah. link already. If I may, I, I just wanted to point out to everybody, you've got the buttons on the left side of your screen where people can push the button now. In the replay, I just wanted to show you. So when if people are watching this replay later on, the chat box on the right side is also live as well. So in other platforms, you put a post up in a or a link up in a chat box, and the end result is after the um, the event's over, it's lost. It's on this forever. one, I just wanted to show you. You've got it on both sides. You've got it on the left side of the screen, and in the chat box, the uh, links are still there. Will be there in the replay, so they're still active. Yeah, that's a, a fabulous feature about the Be Connected platform uh, because we've all got to remember in those other platforms that will not be named, we have to remember to click on those three little dots at the chat to download it and you actually then got to do the work to go and find them. So anybody who's watching this replay can see Alan has put those chats in. If you click on his name, guess where it'll take you? To his profile on Be Connected. This is a great way to connect with people. So there's just, it's like an onion, this thing, this platform, so many layers of richness and deliciousness. So let me share my screen again and show you how to do this, these buttons in Canva, because this is the exact link that you have received to this template. Now you can see this is the button. I literally created that in about two minutes this morning to pop into my left-hand side buttons as the middle one. So uh, what I've set up for you is that you've got all these templates. You can go to town with all of it. But let me show you a fairly simple one. If I wanted to use this, I'm actually going to use the square one because I can see the image I want to drag. You will have an image that you might um, have created already. I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to drop and drag it. This is my business planning basics product. So I'm happy with that. I will then, I will go share. I will go download, I'll go PNG, transparent, thank you very much, and I want the number four tile to be downloaded, done, download. There it is, it's downloading already. That will create a P, and I have to then save it. I'll just pop it in there. I saved it, and I can then upload it into my platform. Pretty neat, right? So in this one, what if I don't have an image? I can go to Photos. Let's say I want to do Happy Bee just because it just popped in my head. Um, 
Oh, there's a, there's an interesting, well, it's, it's a bit of a funny image, but um, there she is. It's as simple as that. Searching what you want, slide it into there. If you want a graphic, like not a photo, happy bee, let's try that again. Go to graphics. Oh, he's a cool, cool dude. It's not a photo, so I'm going to just delete that baby. I'm just clicking delete. I'm going to grab him, put him in there, and there's my image, and I will do the same thing. Share, PNG, download, etc. So you might want to put, say, a YouTube. Uh, you might have a great YouTube channel. You can absolutely pop him there, take him out, and you've got YouTube. Simple is really good. Everybody recognises what that means. And so you can use any number of things. So you've got all sorts of styles. I will undo all of these so that the template doesn't get broken. Undoing, undoing, undoing. There we go. I'm going to undo that. So you can see, oh, I made a whoopsie. I'm going to, oh, crikey, Joanne. Undo, undo. See, I made mistakes then. So it's so easy if you go, whoops, broke it. Now, the cool thing about these templates is when you download them, you're not interrupting me, you're not interrupting anybody else. These are your templates to play with. I'm actually deliberately going to leave that there for you. This is a really cool mock-up of this um, computer. So it, I really like using these sorts of things because we're talking about an online platform. So to me, it makes total sense to use an image of a computer to pop it in there. So let me just quickly show you how these work. So let's say I'm just going to go grab, go to my uploads and let's say I want to talk about one of my programs. All I do is I just drag it over to in front of the computer and it will automate. You can see it's thinking. It then pops it in there. It's really simple. So I can, um, I can undo, which I will do. So you come back to the... Um, the blank one for your template, but they're already simple. So that's the same for these. These are pretty, anything you can see with a bit of movement on the screen. These are one of these mock-up ones. So they're just very different, pretty cool. It looks like a page is turning, right? I really love them. So they create a button in an unexpected format. So you can see now on my left-hand side, that middle button is exactly the one that I was just playing around with. So I downloaded it, uploaded it, just the steps I showed you before. Really, really simple. You've got a template, so there's no excuse, but you absolutely can ask myself or you can ask Alan or anybody, or any of the other coaches. So what's your job today? Lock away 30 minutes, grab your links, prepare your buttons, upload and start connecting and start using the platform, even if it's free, right? even if it's free. So what's next? Next Thursday, no, what is it? It's Thursday today. Uh, next week, I'm going to be talking about how to do this live that I'm doing right now. How are we doing it? And, you know, we we fiddled about around this morning, but that's okay. We're not, we're human. Uh, you can check the replay. So these, are, I'm just showing you some of the other capabilities of this platform. So if you're here live, I know Alan can absolutely click on this and you can click on that button, Alan, to go and see the replay of what I did last week. Hmm. Um, you can also go and grab your link, which is just a different way of showing that left-hand button, a different way of doing it. So this is the link to uh, those Canva templates. And that is all said she. Done. <laughs> Brilliantly done. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. The uh, thing you mentioned earlier on with the people, you showed the, the one where somebody hasn't done anything to their platform. Yeah, yes. Now, most of the people who have come in free I would say the majority of them haven't done anything with their platform. Yeah. It's insane not to because you want to run your business. You want to grow it. To yeah. understand these, uh, how to set that up, it's quite simple as uh, Joanne's shown today. Yeah. So if you want extra support, get in touch with Joanne, get in touch with me, get in touch with the person who brought you in, especially if they're one of the other coaches as well, and they can guide you through that. Because yes. once you set your platform up, you can then start connecting with people and you can start doing business. Because really, why we're on social media in the first place, hopefully it's not just to uh, show pictures of cats and dogs and things like that. Oh, it's wait, to grow yeah. your business. Exactly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you for that reminder. And uh, and the other thing about that is if if that 
if that image, let me just remind everybody what uh, what it you don't want it to look like. Uh, no, does it look like this? That suggests to me, because that left-hand button automatically reflects your profile image. If you do, as I said at the very first tutorial, if you do not have your profile set up, nobody will find you. I can't find you. I want to support you. And I know there is a lot of women from the Women's Network Australia has signed up, but it, it's making it very tricky for me to, to find you, to support you. Now, I'm working with Cheryl from Women's Network to make that happen, but there's a lot of other people, and I know, Alan, you've got people on your platform, under you, under me, that haven't even put their photo in and put a little bit of detail, which literally, Alan, might take you 10 minutes, maybe. Exactly. And it doesn't take very long at all, but no. if you've got your photograph up there, the image there, then the connection generator can find you. But when people find you, they need a little bit of information about you. Just having a banner up there on your image, people go, well, who are you? What are you? This, exactly. this is an opportunity to build your business fast. And there's no, no jail if you try and connect with too many people. In fact, you're, you're, you're advised to connect with as many people as you can because to exactly. run your business, you need connections. So know, set your platform up, get your profile in there, get as much detail as you can in because the more detail you've got, the easier it is then for the connection generator. When people first go into the connection generator, it looks at that person's um, profile. It looks right through the network and looks for people who've got similar interests and you have similar interests, you're going to be presented to them so that they can then connect with you and you haven't done anything other than fill your profile out. Exactly. It's so simple. It is so simple. And Alan, you and I in a meeting earlier this this morning, and like we know there's good volumes of people coming in already, but there is about to be an absolute tidal wave of people coming into this platform. So I want people to think about the fact that here is your new live amazing um, lead opportunity, business opportunity for you to connect with directly with people with no barriers to how often you do it, how long you do it, if you do it all day, you just sit there and connect with people. Nobody's going to stop you in sharing your story, your your reason for being here, the reason you have your business. And as was um, reminded to us this morning, and I often talk about it as well, we don't know who you know. You don't know who I know. You don't know who Alan knows. You don't know who the other um, users of Be Connected, who they know. We might have your next amazing client. We might. You might have our next amazing client. So let's get using this thing efficiently and productively. And really, I've done a number of tutorials now and I've probably taken up, yep, so half an hour each one and we're nearly at the end of this one. But the amount of work that I've asked you to do to get to this point is maybe an hour, maybe an hour to set everything up. And I've made it super simple for you because I've given you a template every single tutorial, making it simple. Got to make it simple. Yeah. And if I can throw in there as well, um, uh, in the words of uh, Johnny Reed, uh, one of our co-founders, as he said, there are those people who uh, make things happen, those people who watch things happen, and those people who wonder what the hell happened. Uh, <laughs> what Joanne's been showing you has been showing you how to become one of those people that make things happen. Yeah. The people who are just listening to do this and do nothing will watch things happening. And the people who haven't even bothered to, they've joined the platform but haven't bothered doing anything at all, not even coming along to these, they're the ones who are going to be wondering what the hell happened and they're the ones who are going to be right behind in their business. Yeah. So if you what want about to move forward, get in yeah. here and get out. They'll be running, going out of breath, trying to catch up, right? That's and everybody it, will it. have left them for dead. And, you know, we are all in business to make money. We are all in business to make a difference to our lives and to other people that we interact with. Unashamedly. This is why we're here. We are here to make a difference. So I'm going to, on the button.